Okay, so I got to tell you this story, and, and it'll take a little while. Um, we stayed in a fabulous house uh, about 15 minutes from the Masters. Mm-hmm. And there are people that strategically have houses built, houses of consequence, mm-hmm. where every bedroom has a bathroom mm-hmm. and a walk-in closet and because they know they're, they're going to rent. to rent out for that one Absolutely. week. Yeah. For that one week... <laughs> Virtually everyone says if it's a $200,000 house or a $2 million house, what everyone says is you can make at least half your mortgage sure. in that one week. Sure. And everybody is competing to do that. The house that we were in was gorgeous, had a swimming pool in the mm-hmm. back, had a big outdoor patio area where you could cook, had every modern convenience known to mankind. This is not an exaggeration. The house that I stayed in was two to three times bigger than the house that I live in. Oh, wow. The bedroom that I was in was two to three times bigger than the bedroom that I had. How many people had. were staying there? At, uh, at various points, five to six, but ultimately just two as people move in and move out. But it's right. a five or six bedroom house yeah. then. Okay. And, and, and it's strategically done. Sure. I mean, sure. in a house, by the way, a house that looks in North Augusta or in a, you know, a suburb of Augusta that looks like here it would sell for $2.5 million. Potomac House. Let's not forget this is Augusta, Georgia. That's an eight hundred thousand yeah. dollar house right. there. It's right. not. It's yeah. not a two million dollar right. house. It's not because you got. You're not living in a place where you can make two million dollars. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so in any case, this is the the panic situation I had. That I come back from playing golf on Friday. Uh, we have played at a place called Palmetto Country Club in South Carolina, about twenty five miles away. And now there's going to be a big dinner. Um, ESPN heavy-duty people are going to be at this dinner with heavy-duty advertisers. And I'll tell you all about those people later on, you know. But I have a lot of stories. I don't want to blow them all. This is the panic story that I have. It's a brand-new house, pretty much. Looks like a three- to five-year-old house. And it has brand-new plumbing. Mm -hmm. Plumbing I have never seen. I go into the shower, and there is a knob to turn on the faucet. Mm -hmm. There's a faucet, and there's an overhead shower. But there's no button, there's no clasp, there's no anything, and I don't know how to turn the shower on. So it's a it's a bathtub and a shower. Bathtub and a shower. So you turn on the faucet, the faucet's running, you can't get water to come out of the shower head. That's, this is my problem. Right. Now I am turning it and turning it and pulling it and pushing it. Some of them are voice activated. I have, you say shower on? No, I have no <laughs> idea how to do this. Meanwhile, I have to get to this dinner, yeah. and I have to get clean and now the tub is filling up. Now you would say, okay, just sit in the tub. Well, the problem is the tub is sort of rounded, and it's just not w- big enough to accommodate my body. Right. Yeah. You know, it's just it's not a regular bathtub. It's a shower and, tub. And there, what am I going to do? Am I going to go next door where there are people and say, hey, I'm so stupid that I'm, I'm, I'm from the backwoods to such a degree that I don't know how to turn on the shower. Well, no, because A, I'm naked, and B, I'm due over there naked. in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, what do I do? So I have to, I fill the bathtub, and now I get into the bath. You swim. Like Start Laura swimming. Ingalls, just pouring it over yourself. And well, like a 12 the ounce only solo way cup. to do it, well, I didn't even have a cup. The <laughs> only way to do it is to put my legs perpendicular to my body oh, up is, the wall. This is a bad My image. legs are up ah, the wall. It's not working for I'm me. In, I'm in L shape. Ah. And I'm trying to get enough room to throw my head <laughs> underneath the small amount of water ah. in the bathtub. And I... I finally <laughs> succeed in doing that. It's 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 just oh not. Oh my god! It's not done well, and I'm picturing. Okay, now the cameras come in. Uh, now somebody breaks down the door. Now Alan and now, Funt walks in, and now they see me. My legs are, oh are on the god. wall. They're attached to the wall, and there's no room in the bathtub oh. for the rest of me. Oh my god! No, that was that you know. I mean that awesome. was awesome. Yeah. So the next day, <laughs> the next day, I go to the guy who's in charge of ESPN's logistics, and his name is Rich Levis. Mm-hmm. I say, look, I feel fairly stupid here, and I don't want this to happen again. And he says, yeah, yeah, let, let me come over. I'll, I'll show you how to do it. I'll, I, you know, because you, you rent two or three houses, mm-hmm. and you have to go through the house. So he comes over, and he says, well, what did you do? I said, what did I do? <laughs> I pushed this. I pushed that. I turned this. I pulled it. I was literally afraid I would pull the knob out of the wall in a house that I don't own. And he said, did you ever think of doing this? And he reached his hands under the faucet and pulled down on a ring in the faucet itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen those, yeah. Yeah. 
Like the mouth of the faucet comes down. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> and I, and Water I, from the heavens. And I say, well, how was I supposed to know that? Why would I ever think of that? I was, I was like a, you know, a ridiculous <laughs> moment showing once again the sort of insular quality of my life. And I had no idea that's how to fantastic. do it. You know? And that story's not nearly as good as what I'm going to tell tomorrow about almost missing the tea time. Oh. Because, At Augusta? Just let me tell you this. If you miss by 10 seconds. Game over, bro. Yeah. You're done. You're yeah. done. And that's a, you know, I'm not, I haven't gone. It's a clown move, now, bro. I'm not going again. <laughs> so that's tomorrow's story. Oh In the God. meantime, Windows. What do I do to get that image out of my head? I of can't you unlearn that. No. Laying on the <laughs> floor like with my legs was, on the wall. I was and... just outrageous. <laughs> outrageous at that point. A haiku from Shad. Shoehorned in the tub, legs propped up against the wall, but tastefully done. <laughs> Liz Clark is with us today. SG3 is here. Nigel is running the board. My son, Michael, who heard the show last <laughs> night, said that that segment set back radio at least 80 <laughs> years. Uh, Greg Miller in South Burlington, Vermont. I was prepping lunch while you described your shower experience. I did not eat. I will try again today. You <laughs> Gannon in Groton, Massachusetts. What the lunch preparation? Email us what your lunch preparation is. You Gannon, Groton, Massachusetts. Busy day yesterday. Didn't have time for lunch. How have you been? I'll hang up and listen. It's funny. Mark Evanson, Manassas Park. Meatball, pepperoni, sub, barbecue chips. <laughs> Rack me. <laughs> Neil in Rockville. We can only hope that Kuki Renoso shows discretion by not creating an actual visual of the bathtub incident. Think what it could do to the kids. Come on, Cookie. Josh Cromwell in Moselle, Mississippi. The sand at Pinehurst has growy things in it. I could be wrong, but I think in most places those are referred to as plants. <laughs> Joel in Sugar Hill, Georgia. So you can't work a shower and we're supposed to be surprised you can't tweet or work a cell phone or get the keys out of a car. You're the target demographic for flight attendants who still demonstrate how to buckle a seatbelt in preparation for departure. It's time for the home. Time for the home. Yes. Heather Hormel Miller in Madison, Wisconsin, a longtime listener. Love Heather. How dare you suggest that radio is not a visual medium and therefore it does not matter from where a radio show is broadcast. To do so is to demean all of us who religiously watch on News Channel 8 as well as those loyal employees at the aforementioned channel who come to work each day to make our daily viewing possible. <laughs> P.S. I think it is time to print up some News Channel 8 stickers, Heather asks. <laughs> or says, Charlie Fischel, Norfolk, Virginia. Pimento cheese sandwich, chips, and a pickle. <laughs> Zach from Brookville. I skipped lunch today. <laughs> Sally Brown in Charlotte. My lunch today is an orange crushed soda and Fritos. How's that for nutrition? Can I have a sticker? I'm a long-time little, and I love listening to you guys. Your podcasts get me through my stressful work day. By the way, for stickers, Sticker. apparently uh, it costs too much money for this radio station to use the stamps to send out the stickers. So I have offered to pay for the stickers being sent through the mail. I just want an invoice for every stamp and every envelope, we and I will pay for it. Gannon from Denver, Colorado. Turkey on rye with half a sugar cookie <laughs> taken from a new employee luncheon. <laughs> Uh, Cookie Reynoso has sent a picture, a rendition of me in the bathtub with a cigar. Just unbelievably <laughs> yeah, horrifying that we hold up for people on News Channel 8. Chris P. in Chicago, Illinois. As we endured the rain and flooding yesterday on my arduous trip home last night, I came across an unusual sight. What did I see at one of the flooded low points at an underpass of the train tracks? A guy kayaking in three feet of water on a city street, and I could think of only one thing. This is a snow shovel situation. I found myself fraught with the lack of snow, therefore I settled on grabbing his paddle and smacking him with it. As I beat him to a pulp, he did not answer my questions. Do you have any cross-skiing, cross-country skiing relatives in the Metro D.C. area? Are they bikers and do they wear Chinzano tops? No reply came forthwith. I bet the bozo likes jazz, too. P.S. Lunch, penny pasta and meat sauce. Josh Cromwell, Moselle, Mississippi. When are you buying a new elevator so you can display your scorecard from Augusta? That's actually funny. Brian Gray, Marietta, Pennsylvania. Let me see if I understand this newly requested email format correctly. Leaving my house, I turn left on Market, right onto Decatur, left onto 441, right onto my tuna melt on Rye, left the, onto the MLB network on Channel 859 on Comcast Digital Cable and Mama Road. If you're out on your bike, time, everyone, as always, do wear white. What's that, chicken? <laughs> Every night is the f chicken. <laughs> Holy God almighty. Is it possible just once Dad? we could get something to eat for dinner around here that's not the f chicken? <laughs>